welcome to Smoother's Backyard. I just want to show you my 1989 Mitsubishi Pajero uh, short wheel base, short wheel base, four wheel drive. I picked it up about six months ago uh, as a paddock basher for fun for me and for the boys or the kids to drive. My daughter's already got her license, so. The boys need to learn how to drive and I thought this would be a great way for them to learn the fundamentals of driving a manual um, vehicle and having a bit of fun in the paddock and the mud. Let me show you around. So this is her. Like I said, it's an 89 Mitsubishi Pajero. Um, the short wheel base kind. Just got the battery on charge at the moment. Uh, nothing wrong with the battery, I actually maybe picked that up second hand for about 30 bucks, but it's a good battery. I just <clears throat> couldn't start it yesterday and cranked it over a lot trying to start it and figured out in the end that I actually didn't have any fuel. So that's always a good tip for young players. Put fuel in the vehicle before you start it. So she's a four cylinder petrol. It's got a, um, a big old Land Cruiser Toyota radiator in there. Uh, the previous owner put that in. He had it as a paddock basher as well. Uh, the original radiator, well, no, not so good. And so that one does the job. Pretty, uh, yeah, it's clean in there. Not so much, really. It's got a... Um, <clears throat> big ass aluminium bull bar on the front which uh, probably had its whole life I guess it's a bit bent here in the front so a bit modified so uh, it tends to rub on this front tire here but this front tire is also ballooned so <laughs> the two things go together and connect occasionally so I might have to get to a stump and tie that up and just back up a bit and pull that out and, uh, so it's had a nice uh, aerodynamic modification done there on the front uh, it's rust free meaning that yeah it's got some mirrors uh, well, you know you don't need those windscreen wipers they work, but the blades are shot. Um, what else has it got? A um, little bit more rust up here in the gutters, but nothing too serious. Overall, the body is actually pretty good. There's no rust in the, the sills or the guards. It's just the bottoms of the doors and a little bit spot rust here and there. This, this modification here has more aerodynamics, makes it go a bit faster. Uh, that, that came with that. I didn't do that one, but probably we'll do some more later. No rear bumper. It, that just wasn't there. This, this mud flaps. I don't know. It's hanging in there, so I'll just leave it. Uh, it's got a tow bar, which is handy because I've got an old gusty trailer down the paddock. I've got a spare wheel here that's held on with one wheel nut. That's for extra safety. So that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I um, didn't have a fuel tank in it, so I'm running the old boat, the old portable boat uh, fuel tank there, which I did a bit of modification. I even put a return, popped a little return spot, um, you call that plug thing in the top, whatever you call that, and uh, an extra fuel filter even. So, you know, she's running clean fuel. And uh, it's got... It's got the back seat. You can, you can well the dog likes to sit there, so that's good. It's actually got it's got its tail light on this side, so you can you know people can see if you're braking, you can indicate. That's handy. Got a bit of mud. We've been we've been doing a little bit of mud driving. So 
might need to get the pressure washer out and give her a clean at some stage. This is the interior. Uh, a little bit more. What's uh, Derek from Vice Group Garage calls that weight reduction. But see, it's um, <clears throat> it's had the rust treatment. Uh, guaranteed rust prevention. I don't know how that went for him, but probably not so good, given that that actual door's repressed in the bottom too. We lost the mirror on this side. That's okay. You don't need those in the in the bush. It's got the um, it's got the racing director find uh, direction finder on there, which is a little bit loose. I did tighten it, but I even put a spring washer on there. But it's, I'm not sure it's the right spline, but anyway, it hasn't come off yet. So that's handy when you're driving that it doesn't come off. Uh, it's got the stereo, which um, you know it doesn't work. It's the four speed. No, it's the five speed. It's the five speed. I don't think I've had it in fifth gear. Uh, four wheel drive with the high and low range. We just run her around in low range in the paddock. Makes it easy to drive. It's got all these fancy uh, you know, gauges up here that don't work. None of them work. It's the, so you know if you're climbing up a hill or, or about to tip over gauge. Um, there's a bit of mud here on the dash from previous fun. Um, I'll clean up, that's all right. Do you want a bit of choke? No, 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 no choke. He doesn't like to idle. Strangely enough, that thermo fan wasn't working until I just gave it a bit of a twirl just a few minutes ago. So there you go. Thermo fan works. It's got a big ass white fan there anyway, so you know, oversized radiator, so it's not gonna get hot. Yesterday the fan belt started to slip, make a terrible screeching noise, so um, I'm just gonna tighten that up today I took the air conditioner pump out that was here because it was right in the way of adjusting the fan belt we did put a new belt on it so it's probably just wearing in and needs a bit more tension on it we've got Lawson here he's going to start it up for me give it a few revs <laughs> And there he just started her up and uh, gave it a few big revs the fan belt is slipping especially once it warms up it gets really screechy so we'll tighten it up and what i did notice was that these spike plug leads were hanging down so and trying to jump into the fans i'll just hook them back up into their little clip so, yeah
Now the old girl's got no handbrake, so Lawson's just going to pull that on. Pull it. it comes right up, right up, right up, and that's it. Doesn't work, pretty much. No handbrake, so just let that off again. <laughs> You've got to be in the right position, don't you? I'm just getting under the car. <coughs> so we got there's the handbrake cables from underneath. And they look like they're all right. And the adjustment on there looks like it's about halfway down. So given that we've got no handbrake, I don't think we're going to get any more or enough out of adjusting it the rest of the way down. So I think we're going to have to look in the hubs, follow the handbrake cable down to the wheel hubs. They go in there somewhere, if you can see that in there. So we're going to get a jack and a wheel brace and we'll take that wheel off and have a look inside the brake hub. So I went and got the jack out of the Patrol, the Nissan Patrol and a wheel brace and Lawson's going to take off the wheel nuts, aren't you Lawson? Yeah. <laughs> off you go. Find one that fits. Good choice. You're gonna have to get stand up and put some weight into it. Like so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, remember lefty loosey righty tidy? That's right, go left. Right. Yep. Yeah. Alright, get a foot onto it. That's the way. Better move wood. It'll give straight away. So, come on, muscles. <laughs> <laughs> you must have loosened it. <laughs> yeah, you got those two. Come on, put your back into it. <laughs> Come on, this is going on YouTube. Everyone's, everyone's see it. Ah, you got one. Yay. <laughs> All right, break that other one. The one you couldn't get. I've only got four nuts on a wheel that should have six. But anyway, that's plenty for the paddock. If I find some more, I'll put them on. Right. Yeah, you can take that wheel off. Maybe. Put the thing down. Just lift it up from the top and ease it out. Like that? Yep, like that. That's all. Good work. Don't know how long since this thing's been taken off the old brake drum. If we get that off, we should be able to find some sort of adjustment for the handbrake in there, I hope. Haven't done too many of these, but anyway. I know they don't come off easy. Give it a bit of a bash. A loosener up. Well, we got the brake drum off. With a fair bit of huffing and puffing and bashing. Bit of persuasion there with the hammer. Now, I don't know if you can see there, but there's no meat left on those brake shoes whatsoever. There's a tiny bit on the on this one, but this one's this one's actually showing a bit of metal. So the metal on metal is not good. Even though it's a paddock basher, we probably should replace those, and that will probably make the handbrake work. Just given. It'll need less adjustment on it. Well, we got this side done and the battery went flat on the phone for the camera, so new shoes are in there. I zipped down to the auto parts store and picked up these. So I've got the other side to do. These new shoes. 
Yeah, real nice to get new shoes. So um, we'll zip around the other side and see how we go. So this is the other side. Let's put down the tarp there so I'm not kneeling in the um, grass and mud, which is at the edge of the concrete. And it's a little trick here for <clears throat> anyone who doesn't know how to get a brake drum off, uh, which perplex me for a little moment. I have done it before, but it was a long time ago. I don't usually play with cars. Maybe I did when I was um, like 18, 20. I'm 50 now, so um, it's been a while. And yeah, so there's these two little holes here. Just here and here. And just get yourself a little bolt, hopefully a hardened steel one. Clean those little holes out and um, put a bolt in there. Put a bit of a ratchet onto it. Yeah, so you get a bolt into these holes and just crank it up a bit, wind it in, and it should push the hub off. As we go. If you had two bolts, you could do them simultaneously. I couldn't find two in my bolt collection, so I'm just alternating from one side to the other. It's actually quite loose now. Probably pull that off. <clears throat> Let's see how we go. side's not as bad with the brake lining it's or well, maybe it is this side here is just on the metal this side's got like half a millimeter of meat on it so yeah they need changing out I'm surprised they still work
I think that's the way he's supposed to do it. But it's off. friends out there probably be laughing at my attempts but I'm not a mechanic I'm uh, far from it so I've almost got this second set on and I employed a what we call an oki strap or a bungee cord some people call them just to hold things in place while I get that last spring on and well another spring clip that goes in here as well this spring's got to come up to this hole and then that's that wheel pretty much done as well sorry i didn't keep you all updated all the way because the phone battery went flat as usual but anyway here we are nearly done so it's pretty much all back together <clears throat> the astute mechanic out there or even the rough one, will notice that this slave cylinder leaks a lot. I'm not too worried about that. Mostly I wanted the handbrake to work and it didn't. I think with these new pads on, it will. It's a paddock basher after all. Um, it's made for driving in the in the fields and the mud. And, um, you know, it's got front brakes. They work. And hopefully, when I pull on the cable now, It'll yank these pads out and I'll have enough adjustment to work the handbrake and hopefully the back brakes as well. But, you know, we'll leave that. That's fine. Well, I think I'm just about done. Uh, got the fan belt tightened. Found the um, brake shoes were pretty well shot well very well shot in the back there we were trying to troubleshoot why the handbrake didn't work and um, well let's see there's shiny metal on the brake shoes so probably why and I've put them in now and I just I just did some adjustment underneath the car for the brakes and I'll take it for a run See if it needs a little bit more adjusting on either side, but you know, it's a paddock basher. It doesn't matter really, as long as it stops. Uh, it's only going to lock up in the grass and the mud anyway, so um, yeah, there we go. Let's go for a run. Lawson's back.
got to turn the fuel pump on. Let's see if he works it out. Did he work it out? Has he turned the fuel pump on? I think he has. Here he comes through the mud. Well, there's some fella doing circuits around in the sky above me plain noise but that was a lot of fun uh, taking the old Pajero for a run after working on it all day and uh, well half the day anyway and Lawson had fun and um, yeah this is really my first video for um, doing this sort of stuff smooth as backyard I make music usually um, so check out my other music videos um, they're a bit, bit different to this, um, but yeah, we might do this again, I don't know, but make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like and whatever, the notifications, whatever. I don't put up too many videos, so I was very much inspired by Derek from Bicecript Garage to make this video, so uh, if you like this sort of thing, although this is not a classic car, he does more classic cars like Chevys and Fords and stuff, check out his um, his. Uh, YouTube channel because it's you know he's got two years of content on there and it, he's, he's a funny guy he's a really funny guy and fun to watch if you like cars you'll like that anyway so yeah Brendan Smoother um, the old Pajero new brakes or new back brakes anyway <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it mm -hmm.